In today's modern world, everybody wants to get everything done quickly. They just want it done quickly. But what about the benefits of taking your time and doing it slowly? Hey there, njroot22.com here with another general interest vlog. And the last week I talked about how conversations have changed in the digital world. It's gone from sound bites and like, like swiping and liking and not even thinking. There's no more real deep thoughts anymore. The same thing applies to just people doing things in general. Some examples are like just the, uh, working on a project or building something. You know, today people will just look on the internet, find the answer and do what they have to do. I suppose there are some benefits that you can't argue with. You have more time to do other things, but at the same time, you also do things hastily and maybe didn't give yourself an opportunity to see other ways to do it. We take pride in doing things slowly these days. I mull over my projects over time. I'm in no really hur like hurry to do a project. There's no goal to me. I just, if I like want to do something, I'll just think about it. And sometimes it'll take me a few weeks or months or days. Sometimes I won't do it. Sometimes it'll take a couple of years before I eventually get to it. But I keep it in the back of my head. I like thinking about it because you get different angles at different points in the day. It's just a good thing to let things mull over in your head. I'll give you an example. A few months ago, I did an LED upgrade project for my office where I work. In the past, I just had a couple lamps and a couple indirect uh, can lamps, and it was, it was a well-lit office. But I said, I, I want to reduce my, my power consumption by a lot, but I also want to have a similar amount of light. So I, I built these LED light strips that went around various nooks and crannies of this room I, I work in. I thought about it every day. I drew diagrams, and I, I thought about it. I, I, like I would revise my my sketches and try new ways and I realized, wait, that was a bad idea I've been stuck on for the last week. And I found a new way to do it and I kept tweaking it but with no, putting no pressure on myself to do it one way or another. I just wanted to feel good about it. So I, I, like I said, there was no pressure to do it. When you do something slowly and you think about it calmly without any kind of external influence and it came out really good. It was a, a complicated project and it ended up being so satisfactory to me, I'm glad I took my time and didn't rush because of the various changes that happened over time. And this has been true with pretty much most of the projects over the past couple of years here at this homestead. And we're lucky because they're optional. Uh, I have to say though that you don't always get the luxury of taking your sweet time doing things. There are instances where you, like a repair for instance, you don't have a lot of time to mull over the ways to do it. You have to repair what you have to repair. And you know, sometimes you'll go back and, and revise it once the repair has been made and you have time to do it when it's not broken. Luckily for us, those repairs were pretty straightforward. I didn't need to think of 10 ways till Sunday to do it. But the bottom line is no matter what project you're working on, there's no shame in, in taking it slow. You don't have to go find the answer right away on YouTube or the internet. Take time to learn. It's not bad to put things on the back burner while you just, just take it slow. I, I think that's a, a good thing. And sometimes if you do it right, you might even abandon your project entirely saying it's not worth it. I, I realized after thinking about it for a while that it's a stupid idea. And then you save yourself a lot of time and money on that. How do you handle your projects? Do you blast through them or do you pace yourself? If you like this video, please hit the bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.